Hi, I'm Rob Chunger, Vice President of Corporate Marketing at NVIDIA here at day two of the GPU Technology Conference. There is too much cool stuff going on at day two. For me to encapsulate it in a few minutes is tough, but I'm going to give it a shot. First of all, the keynote today, Hans Peter Pfister from Harvard University talked about all sorts of ways that GPUs are solving problems. Everything from how the brain is wired, how did the universe start, how does human visualization system how does the human visualization system work? And uh, I gotta say, the coolest, one of the coolest things was uh, they were talking about the beginning of the universe. Not much is known about how the universe was formed after 300,000 years, let's say, to a billion years. So there actually, there's a radio astronomy project out in the middle of nowhere in Australia. And they have a radio astronomy dish and a supercomputer center, which happens to be a trailer. And they're restricted in this because the trailer can only support 20 kilowatts. So they have to do an enormous amount of processing out of a trailer. And the only solution for them, uh, working with Harvard, was to build GPU clusters. And that's how they solved the problem of, this, of doing the simulation in this project. Today we also had the kickoff of the Emerging Companies uh, Summit. And uh, there were a number of amazing companies doing incredible work with GPUs. Uh, everything from face recognition to controlling a PC with your hand, just you know, gesture recognition. Um, but there was one, one company that's doing some amazing stuff. It's a company called Myriad. And what they can do is they can do product placement into any type of video. So imagine an old Bill Cosby episode where there's a box of cereal at an angle, and all of a sudden it can become Special K or any type of, uh, any type of product. Uh, they did a demo that was particularly cool. There was a truck outside the hotel. And what they did is they posted the NVIDIA logo on the truck. And then they have 14 algorithms running simultaneously on GPUs to keep and maintain that logo in its proper perspective. So let me explain it. This is really cool. If a car goes by, when the metal of the car goes by this logo on the truck, you can't see it. But if you're looking through the window of the car, you can see the logo on the other side. If a truck door opens, the logo folds along with the truck door. It's really amazing technology, an enormous amount of processing to maintain this. And again, 14 algorithms running on GPUs is the only way to make it work. Another amazing part of day two, uh, Rudy Sarzo, who's a professional bass player uh, with bands like Ozzy Osbourne, White Snake, Dio, uh, Blue Oyster Cult, did a session with Ian Williams on how you can use GPUs uh, for audio. And you never think about it. You think graphics and audio, how do they mix? As it turns out, musicians right now are completely bottlenecked because in a PC, when, when you try to do multiple effects in, in a piece of music, you're bottlenecked by the CPU. So what a musician ends up doing is just spending his time fixing problems. You try to replace and you're trying to pick and choose which effect you're going to have. And instead of being creative and doing music, you're working on fixing problems. With a GPU, any GPU that you can have in your laptop, a musician can now go to his hotel room and have an, a recording studio and do an, a virtually unlimited number of effects using the GPU that's inside his notebook. It was amazing stuff and, and just amazing to see how people are using the GPU, and one of them is, is audio. In addition to all the sessions going on uh, at the GPU Technology Conference, there's also an initiative uh, to raise money for charity for a uh, local school in the Bay Area. Uh, last night there was a charity pub crawl. Uh, there's a bunch of other uh, charity functions and so far have raised over $25,000 uh, for this charity. So uh, we, it's a great way for our partners to get involved, go out last night, have a lot of fun, and then in addition raise money for, uh, for important charity work. So uh, that's actually really cool. So day three tomorrow, last day of the GPU Technology Conference is going to kick off with uh, Richard Karras, the Chief Technical Officer of Industrial Light and Magic, who's going to be talking about how the GPU is being used to solve some of the problems that ILM uh, is facing in creating the next generation of special effects in movies. And then, of course, a whole day a more of interesting sessions. So that's it from day two of the GPU Technology Conference.